to go with uh, vintage porn. Just give me one sec. That's what she said. Now recording. <laughs> but Craig's in okay. the waiting room. God damn it, Mo. Oh, fuck. We are, in the waiting, we are in the waiting room, aren't we? <laughs> yes, we are in the waiting room. What oh. the fuck? Fucking rid of him. Hey, don't yell at me. Hey, for, uh, 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 shut up. Hold on a sec. <laughs> I don't want to participate in your crap streams. <laughs> so get out, then. But he said five minutes, so I still had five minutes to make fun of him. Okay. I didn't say five minutes. I said, you know. Yes, he did. I didn't even tell you to stay, bitch. This is pure imagination from your end. Well, maybe what I, I was imagining. Now, now recording. recording. Okay. So, uh,. Joey, you were in the midst of talking that good shit, so go oh, ahead. Man. No, I'm done. Subjects uh -uh, closed. Uh 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 uh. Fuck you. No, bitch. You fucking uh, you, no no no. You you complete your thought. Complete your thought. What what thought? There is no thought. I'm I'm done. We're done. He doesn't want to be on the podcast, no. Oh, you're on the podcast, bitch. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> That's a violation. You're violating his consent. Yo, exactly. Welcome to the MoCast. I'm your host, Mo Diggity. Today we have <laughs> Black Suna, my ad, one of my administrators, and he's in the hot seat. Yeah. So, Joey, uh, how's it feel to be? How, how's it feel uh, like? What's it like being an administrator uh, for my Discord? It, it sucks balls. Mo gives you a shit ton of work, and you're always busy. And then uh... you only work as much as you work, as you make yourself work. That's what I always say. That's a lie. It's I keep really getting these advice. emails and these texts, and the, the work pressure is enormous. And oh man, people, I need a new job. Mm, you act like I don't treat you right, baby. I, I you know I do. Okay. This is really how we're starting this week's MoCast. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> With Mo shoving tendies in his mouth as he fucking yeah, talks to this guy. Yeah, he's his mouth all night. Oh. Mm, yeah, stuff in his mouth the land pipe. Uh-huh. Mom, right. mom, mom. It's his new career, laying pipes. So, yeah. Uh, joining me today... Is uh, oh, my oh, oh. fabulous my fabulous co-host uh, Robin? Say hello. <laughs> Were you just oh, about no. to say ravioli? Because then I was gonna laugh. No, I was gonna say ravioli. He's got food on the mind. Mm. Ravioli, ravioli, give me the formuloli. He's candy yeah. drunk. Yeah, that's disgusting, R Riley. Don't you ever say that again. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> no, it's just no, nothing, nothing, nothing. Anyway, no no no, no, yes. no, no, no. If I have to say A and B, then you gotta say A and B. So now explain why is it disgusting? Okay, so like normally it's like ravioli, ravioli, give me the formioli, but yeah. like since I'm on the internet and I'm a disgusting degenerate, I know it as ravioli, ravioli, fuck me in my ass a holy. So you know that's 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 what I that's what I get out of it. Okay. So so that's what I get out of the whole ordeal. Oh. We're making new t-shirts with that slogan on it, can you confirm? Why? You're not gonna buy anything. I made like three shirts for you, sorry ass, and you never fucking bought a one. This is not how I was expecting. <laughs> Fine, I'll buy a coffee cup. <laughs> Actually, uh, uh, straight up now, I, I like to do, I, I would like to say that my, uh, my, my cups, tpublic.com, that's tpublic.com forward slash mo diggity, um, uh, Links to be in the description as always. Uh, they're actually the the tall ones. Actually, aren't that bad. They're they're the the travel mug size, so you can actually put them in your little uh, burrito holder, aka also cup holder. And yeah, uh, yeah, they're, they're, they're pretty good. They're pretty good. And uh, also joining me today is uh, our secondary co. -ho oh no 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 wait a minute. Just kidding. No, Just no, kidding. No. Jk. Lol. Uh. Uh, Riley was here a second ago, now he dropped off. Well, he'll be back here in a little bit, but I think today's topic we're going to attempt to talk about. Uh, I, I think all of us sort of have a massive, like, sort of a hate boner for all things social media and how it's just completely ruined our fucking lives and 
It just makes me want to just take a sledgehammer to every stop sign and street sign I see. Uh, Robin, uh, or, or, oh, oh shit, Riley's back. Riley's back. Say hi, Riley. Yeah, the, the, the Discord machine broke. Hi. Oh shit, the D Discord machine broke. It, it it's been breaking a lot lately. I've noticed. Ever I think since I, that no, update. I think I broke it myself when I was trying to pick up my cat. Wait a minute, hold on, Riley. God damn you. <laughs> How do you break? What? How do you break a program by picking up your cat? <laughs> by accidentally pressing the hang up button when I'm trying to pick my cat up. So it's incompetence. I understand. And now my cat is trying to eat my hand, and it's not nice. You need a new cat, can confirm. <laughs> yes, I do. Well, I think I think your kitty is broken. <laughs> the kitty machine broke. Stop putting your hand in cat food. Mm -mm. <laughs> God damn it. So anyway, all, all I know is, uh, you know, I, I fucking hate social media to the goddamn hell, to the fucking hell and back. You know, I, I, I just got freshly banned from Twitter earlier this week because... Wait, hold on. You got banned what again. Else is <clears throat> well... My my new user handle Happy Good Boy 420 uh, at at Happy Good Boy 420 uh, Happy because good boy. because I got in a fucking argument with Gab because Gab decided once again to flex their little authoritarian you know their their little underhanded sort of like a, a coded language that their little uh, coded response of authority and or, or no uh, order brings us freedom which basically just means you know we're just we just lick the boots lick the boots you know say no to pornography being a shitty social media that's gab yeah oh yeah speaking of so yeah <laughs> it's, it's talk about sucking at social Very media gab yeah speaking of sucking at social media gab uh these people they they basically say you know lick the boots say no to porn and say yes to jesus and non-degeneracy which all hey, of this really <laughs> like all, all of this no is to porn, all, yes all of this I mean, like really all of it is just like kind of coded fucking nazi language this is the same language the same uh demeanor and the same uh the same sort of attitude that fucking nut sucks. I, I mean, Nash socialists fucking have when it comes to culture. You know, they they deem so many things degeneracy. Uh, this needs to be removed. That needs to be removed. Say no to this. Say yes to Christ or insert whole. You know, religious cult here. Say uh, yes to all of them. <laughs> you know, just say say yes to God. And since we pretty much just have that, it's just it fucking infuriating me this week. I, I, I'm i really surprised that despite me being off my medication for the last couple of months, I'm surprised I'm able to compose myself as well as I have, with the exception of the other day, which uh, I, I said, uh, well, the, my response to, uh, you know, order, blah, 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 freedom, blah, 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 ball-licking, boot-licking, blah, 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 was fuck you fuck reagan because they invoked reagan also in their little quote which is uh -huh. the it was the last thing i think that's what fucking set me off the edge was uh you know the the, the reagan ball licking uh, the, i grew up during the 80s during the reagan administration i i've seen what like just the cock goggling gargling you know reagan cock goggling <laughs> sounds like and it, it fucking infuriates me because i'm sitting You're there going Oh well, no, well, Clinton too. Well, Clinton too, but but anyway, that that's a whole other story. But no, seriously, like <laughs> Reagan ball licking is just the worst, man. Listening to people uh, talk about fondly about an era that they barely remember so long ago, it, it's just it, it makes me sort of weep for the existence of, of this stupid race that we call humanity. Because I, I, I think that we're probably at the end of our rope. Or I think we let go of the rope when we're just waiting for the impact on the ground right now. Because humanity is totally fucked. Uh, the, the, the over... The, the, uh, the, the, the almost zealot-like worshipping of authority figures. Uh, the, 
the ass kissing, uh, the the the, the ass kissing uh, of political figures and looking at presidents as if they're supposed to be gods, though most of them fucking don't really act like them at all, or they just don't keep their fucking campaign promises. Uh, yeah, just like Donald fucking Trump. Build the wall! Yeah, well, uh, private companies right now are building the wall, which is another big fuck you to Trump, because Trump said up and down, we're gonna build the wall, we're gonna, we're gonna, fuck we're gonna, gonna make go. Mexico pay for it. Oh, uh, and then it turns into, well, they're gonna pay for most of it, to, uh, oh, we're gonna pay for it, and then by we, I mean you guys. And, and so that sort of <laughs> happened. And, and so, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I, I've been rambling. A, uh, well, anyway, so let me get I'm back gonna to I'm going to need my, another me, small loan of a million dollars, but this time it's for the taxpayers. Oh, yeah, big time, big time. Uh, it, it's sort of like, it, it's like Reagan and Futurama. And like, you got you got to, like, chill out and make this last because I can't write you a check for all the world's money again. Uh, but anyway, so th th that's how I feel about the fucking wall. Uh, but anyway... Uh, uh, so I, I said, fuck you, fuck Reagan, fuck authority, fuck order. I'd kill all of you if I fucking could. Oh, uh, no, you wow. made, it, and, you and, made and, a threat of violence, Mo. I, I, I know, I know, I know. No. I, 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 I sort of... Oh shut up, Riley! Uh, oh, no, no, no! It's it's no, it's it's my bad, and I should have done it, and I lost my temper because I, I I'm like one thing I can't stand uh, are are like leftist fascists and those little fucking ball lickers, but I can't stand the, the authoritarian right has not left America. It has never left America. It's only merely adopted another form in the form of so-called moderates. Uh, the more the, they are, the, yesterday's right wingers and left right and left wingers are today's fucking moderates. They're just keeping their they they learned a long time ago to hide their fucking power level, and they'll be able to go far if they just shut the fuck up. This is hide why their power level. This is why Mitch McConnell and Nancy Pelosi and all these other types, uh, they, they hit really? their, they hit their fucking power levels and they kept their mouth shut. They're only like just just to, to uh. Uh, I, I guess a uh, 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 portion out little bits of their real hatred and anger and authoritarianism just as time went by just keep your mouth shut hide your power level and everything will be fine and you too will become heads of states you too will become he head of fucking government you will be the power you will be the one wearing the boots not licking them and so when th when I see this shit happen from pieces of shit like Gab and they, they uh uh, try to put on their cool guy sunglasses and talk about authority and fucking how order is just so hip, trendy, and double plus good. Uh, it makes me fucking snap. And so I, I shouldn't have said I'd fucking kill all of you if I could. I, I would, but you know, in Minecraft. Whoa, but whoa, whoa, in, Minecraft, in Minecraft, in Minecraft, <laughs> in Minecraft, in Minecraft, in Minecraft. It, only in Minecraft, never in real life. Uh, but would God you kill damn. us in any other video game? Oh, I, dude, I would take you guys down in Call of Duty, no fucking questions asked, uh, or Fortnite, oh, too. But, yeah, 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 but only in video games, never IRL, because, you know, of course not. revolution leads to solved problems, and we don't want to solve our problems. That's so, true. anyway. Historically, uh, wow. the biggest changes that have been enacted in the United States have been through the, uh, the use of violence, so. Oh, yeah, it is, it is. And it's something that we don't ever want to talk about because it's one of those things that makes people real uneasy. And it's really much easier to talk about the act of uh, revolting or the act of resisting. It's why I get really pissed off when uh, people say, uh, hashtag taxation theft. Well, it's like, dude, are you going to do your fucking W-2 this year? Well, well, yeah, I don't want to go get the fuck out of here. Then you're not really dedicated to the cause, you know, uh, unless you're going to be dedicated to the cause, unless you're willing to put your ass on the line or at least some or if you're if you're not willing to lose something, even if it's just very menial. And, well, you can... and then it goes even further. Like, are, are you going to drink from a fucking public water fountain? Are you going to drive on public roads? Like, how, how far are you going to take your like taxation? It's theft bullshit, you know? You know, and really, there's. I, 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 I like to say sometimes that taxation uh, feel. Well, if it's not theft, it certainly kind of does feel like it. But I also acknowledge the fact 
Riley, what in the world's going on back there? Sorry, I hit uh, I hit some blinds and it made a noise. Okay, because it sounds like it it sounds like you're scraping a fork on a freaking plate almost. Yeah, I hit I hit a I hit a blind and it made a noise. Oh, okay, 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 cool, cool, cool. I'll just uh, edit this out at 15 minutes. Anyway, blah 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 blah. Uh, well, yeah, and you know, I I I do acknowledge that. Uh, without governments, uh, there there wouldn't be there there wouldn't be easier access, I should say, to essential anarchy. services. Anarchy, anarchy. The, the anarchy. I, you know, the the idea of anarchy is such a it's a cute little concept that I love to flirt with every once in a while, but I know it'll never fucking come to it's fruition. It's so romanticized. Yeah, it, it's very romanticized. Every every anarchist chick I know wants to be like that French woman that has her top torn to pieces and her tits falling out, holding the French uh, the, the <laughs> revolutionary flag of, of the French. Uh, they, they they love to romanticize and act like they're going to lead uh, the charge to battle. So blah 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 blah. Oh uh, yeah, you know, I'm I'm just absolutely sick of this uh, uh romanticized authoritarian fucking uh you know, Chadsville, which it, let, let's just uh, uh, pretend w what it is right now. It's it's a bunch of freaking 80s jocks and, and, and fucking sports meatheads uh, getting together and just kicking the asses of the stupid ass fucking nerds uh, all your life. Remember that time that fucking bully uh, gave you a huge wedgie? That's authoritarian land right there. Uh, that fucking pig that won't stop beating you up because you're black or you're fucking white with long hair and a Slayer t-shirt. That's that's fucking authority. That's Chadsville, man. Is this is all <laughs> is this fucking that a is? Close to home, Mo? Are you describing perhaps something that might have happened to you? Oh, dude, like uh, shit, like the, well, not with the cops, really. I never got hassled by cops, really. I I've actually been one of the lucky ones. It's really kind of weird though, cause like, I, like d despite, well, I, fuck, all, all my, all my uh, 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 interactions with police have been overwhelmingly positive, only because I I say immediately. Yes, sir. No, sir. Oh, okay. I messed up, and I, I, I admit just admit the guilt immediately, and I don't play fucking games. And either the, I think I've gotten a ticket twice out of like the uh, five or six times I got pulled over, just because I'm being polite and respectful. Uh, but a, a lot of my my fucking little uppity white friends, that they, they love to play fast and loose, like the, the with I am I under arrest? Am I being detained? Uh, uh, getting a fucking smart little mouth uh, on them, and then they wonder why they're they they got called on a warrant and, and shit. Like, dude, you you fucked up big time. All you had to do is just say yes, sir, no, sir, I fucked up or something, sir. Uh, you know, all you have to do is just play. You know, just play the fucking idiot because you are one, and and you will get out of like the ticket no problem. If you're an asshole. Or the cops an asshole, then that's another issue. Of course, this is exclusively uh, uh, my interaction. I don't even know why we're even talking about that. I guess we just start talking about cops. Or right, right, in, in authority. Yeah, in my social mind, media. I'm thinking, wow, this is some social media topics right here. <laughs> hey, I heard Robin say, try to get us back on topic first, Mr. Riley. How dare Riley, you, are you guys, try to I take... have some on topic? I have some on topic things to say. I'm oh, all right, all right. Yeah, because I've been ranting for about 20 minutes now, and I was going to start with Robin, okay. but let's go ahead and start with you, Riley. Okay, well, I have some, I have some stories about Twitter. Particularly, particularly about no shit. Um, getting shit on on Twitter. People who do not like the things I say on Twitter being mean to me. So, the first one happened today. Um, the first story I'm going to tell is I, I was kind of debating not telling it on the show because I feel like you're going to agree with the opinion presented that I refuted. <laughs> Mo, we'll see if I'm right. Well, I don't know what it is, so go ahead and lay it on me. Yeah, I'm going to say it. Um, so, the Bad Gaming Takes Twitter retweeted a tweet oh, hell yeah. <laughs> from a game journalist that was, like, ironically in, like, the caps and non-caps, like, the joke meme tech saying, 
but like gaming journalism is easy and we're all replaceable and bad gaming Well, because they fucking you. are, all of them. Every <laughs> single one. Every single one. Never, ever, 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 ever li uh, buy into the meme that every single quote-unquote gaming journalist, you know, that's such a hand job fucking term. No such God fucking thing. It. It's all paid fucking shills. Every single well, Bo, one of them. Well, Bo, it seems as if I was right because bad Fucking cocksuckers. I hate those bastards. <laughs> Sorry. Gaming takes the funds. Oh, is, what, hold on, wait. Are, wait, well, hold on. I respond. I'm sorry, like you said something about Matt Damon or Ben Affleck. I, 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 I didn't say shit about Matt Damon. Okay, I've been watching a lot of Jay and Silent and Bob Strike Back <laughs> clips lately, so I've got a lot of, uh, and one of my favorite movies is, uh, uh, Chasing Amy. That's one of my, that's, I think, my favorite, uh, Kevin Smith movie. Anyway, sorry, I've I've had other things on the mind. Uh, uh, go ahead. Okay. So I was I was dead right about Mo's opinion being the opposite of mine, and the same as bad gaming takes because bad gaming takes respond to this tweet. It is, and you are. So I, disagreeing with this sentiment, respond responds. It turns out bad gaming takes had the worst gaming take the whole time. <laughs> 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 and um i think it has like three likes right now and a response that just simply says okay journalist has like 40 what is he calling you a gaming journalist <laughs> i guess oh my god hey dude you should totally try to ride that wave and fucking mess with him and then we're like you know just I'm like i'm gonna write an article for fucking games oh, oh, hold oh okay or you can go on Medium, and you can totally just fabricate Fuck. fucking everything because nobody will fact check you on Medium. <laughs> no one gives a shit about Medium. Anyone, it's like Wikipedia. Anyone can write on there and call themselves hashtag journalist. From gamesindustry.biz. You could do that there too? Yeah, I don't know. I just know that I have a video game podcast and we read an article from gamesindustry.biz almost every week. You know... Thanks to social media, uh, we, we really made made everything so much worse. It, it, it's made it to where people who legitimately went to college for, say, journalism or media or anything like that, any kind of writing whatsoever, you can now just uh, fast track the college experience for literally zero dollars and zero cents. And you can just go to medium.com. And then, boom, you got yourself a fucking, uh, uh, so you got yourself instant credibility. You can say, well, I'm a writer and I write columns. Because technically now, it's true. Because now you're protected under the illusion that uh, this is a credible website. And you hashtag our writer. And it fucking makes me just absolutely I'm a sick. You know, you know, I'm a writer. I'm a writer. <laughs> oh, yeah, big time. See? <laughs> Now, now, when everyone's Maddox, no one will be. Oh, so no. anyway, I, I'm sorry. I totally jumped in and interrupted you. Go ahead. Speaking of Maddox, the second story. Oh, this would be fun. <laughs> so me, this one I fully admit was a very bad idea, and I was totally asking for this. Oh, those are the <laughs> best kind. <laughs> I, a couple of months ago may have been a fan of two people that hate each other. I was a fan of both of them. One of which may be named George Orangutan. Not that Orangutan. <laughs> yes. I don't know. So, I see Mr. Maddox. Mr. Maddox Man goes on another Twitter bender of, like, <laughs> accusing dickheads of random bullshit. Is he losing his spaghetti I... again? <laughs> this is a couple months ago. Oh, okay. That 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 Spurgo. Oh man, wasn't that fucking great? Oh, dude, yeah, I, I, was, I absolutely um... love the shit out of that. That was a good. That was a good spaghettiing, a good spurgating. Spaghettiing, but um, I was a, I was still a fan of Maddox at the time. I kind of lost my love for Maddox when he blocked me on Twitter for simply asking for an example of a death threat when he said he's received death threats. But that's another story. But the end of this story is I just I see this all over my Twitter and I get annoyed. 
So I decided to tweet out, it's real hard to be a fan of both Maddox and Dick, and I tagged them both in the tweet. I was surprised that didn't get me a block for Maddox, but what it did get was a response from Dick. Mm-hmm. <laughs> That said, a lot of things are hard if you're that stupid, and it got like 200 likes. <laughs> no, fuck me in your way. <laughs> Dick is going to have to learn one day the hard way that he might not be able to. He might, he might need to reconsider responding to all of his fans. I got I got roasted by Dick Masterson on Twitter, and I made it even worse for myself because I didn't even get it at first. So I tweet out, I can't tell if he's talking about me or Maddox, just making it even worse for myself. <laughs> oh. <laughs> that's the that's the absolute worst is when you think you uh, said something profound and really just kind of came off as pretentious or stupid. But uh, yeah. Uh, so are those all, all the stories that you got for us this week, Mr. Senior Riley? Oh, I do. I do have one more. This one just came to mind. Oh, this okay. Go ahead. Is is very relevant. This guy has been on the show before. The guy who comes uh -oh. up in this story has been on this show before. Oh, fun. <laughs> do you have a guess as to who it is, Robin? You said, uh-oh. I just, is it going to be like, or is it going to be right? <laughs> yeah. Oh boy! It's a, it's is this going to be is this going to be some hot Riley on Riley action? I take it. <laughs> yeah. All right. Cool. I would cool, pay cool. to not see that. <laughs> oh. Just, um... All right. So, uh, Riley, you were telling a story on. You were about to give us some hot Riley on Riley action. Yes. All right. So, so... go ahead. Some random man on Twitter, he's mostly irrelevant, tweets, My biggest flex is that Asterios follows me, but nobody cares. And then I respond, I just see this tweet because I follow Asterios, so it showed me the tweet because Asterios was tagged in it. Uh, just for a side note, I remember exactly what tw tweet you're talking about <laughs> because I think you said something to me before in this. This fucking stupid tweet caused sort of a mini shitstorm. <laughs> a little bit. So I respond, yo, same, and it makes me really happy. And then Mr. Mr. ASE Riley himself quote tweets me and, s and says, ha, 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 come on, man, respect yourself. <laughs> so I respond, I respect myself just fine. I just love Asterios, and I'm happy that he follows me. Okay. And he responds, you samed that being the most impressive thing about you. And I respond, I mean, it's definitely up there, laugh emoji. <laughs> and Riley responds, that is a fucking chief from Yikes, oof. Uh, yeah, Riley has a really <laughs> bad habit of thinking that his takes are the, the hottest takes of the day. And the way that he speaks is sort of like universally kind of down to everybody, especially when he thinks that he's got the quote unquote high ground in the argument. Uh, it, it happened earlier today and that really pissed me off, but I remember exactly that tweet that you were talking about. And that was really, really shitty. Th th that shouldn't right, have been. I've got, I've got one more response from Riley. This is the best one. Oh, okay. This should be good. Go ahead. So after this interaction, I see that. ASE Riley has followed me back because I had followed him like a month ago. Mm -hmm. And then and then he responds to one of the tweets that we had interacted on. This is this this came out as a little one, bit one pretentious. I don't, I don't know what you guys think. <laughs> Hold on one sec, guys. We have no 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 problem no problem no problem. Oh, it's you. You fucking asshole! I got fucking. What are you ta even talking about? That powder for your drink, right? You mean the stuff that's right here? Is it powder red? Does it turn red? A little bit, yeah. Yeah, I got blamed for it all over the counter in the kitchen. No, it's, it should be always right here. No one should have ever gotten into it because I always have it covered, so no one will see it, so no one will get well, into it. 
It was. Oh no 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 no. That, was, that wasn't me because I always have it right here. I always, I always have it right here, so it wasn't me. No, I always stir it up right here. Oh no, Mo's in trouble. Shut up, Riley, you fucker. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, are we ready for the... the no, the uh, just, just a whole, hold yet. on okay. one sec, yeah. Luckily, this uh, this video, is, I just started recording, so I'll get into the, uh, the spots where I need to edit out much, much quicker than I normally do. Good, good. Like, uh-uh, no, that was not me. There, there was someone making Kool-Aid and then fucking up making the Kool-Aid. That's that's what would happen there, because I know exactly what they're talking about. They're like, no, 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 I, I keep my shit. Uh -oh. I keep my shit secret, like fucking uh, uh, Gandalf with the goddamn ring. Dude, I, I like, as I have, uh, I, I, I got some G Fuel, like, not too long ago, because I wanted to see... <laughs> Because I wanted to see what the big deal was, and uh, uh, my 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 quick quick review, it's expensive adult Kool Aid, with like slight with some caffeine in it, but not much, because y you get like a little perk, a little like a, a you know makes your butthole clench up just a little Percocet? bit. No 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 no, no not, not Percocet. But uh no uh, it make, it makes your butthole pucker up just a little bit the first few cups. But uh -huh. you develop a tolerance for it real quick. And so really all you got is kind of expensive adult Kool-Aid. That's but, how everything is, though. You got to kick the first time and then, you know, after that. You I hate anything, that, you know? man. That's why I don't want to drink caveman coffee. Because I, I cause here's, here's my thing. I'll smoke fields of, of fucking weed, right? But my drug of choice, the no, the one that I know that I'll go to rehab or the fucking grave over, it's speed-based stuff, man. So that's why I've never tried meth. But it's like I've done everything under the meth umbrella, up to and including a uh, 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 generic knockoff amphetamine from the fucking doctor, because I couldn't quote unquote afford the good stuff, you know, Adderall. So they just gave me a slight step down and gave me amphetamine. So that was fun. Uh, yeah, meth is scientifically the most addictive. <laughs> but uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But I, I love, I love Monster Energy drinks, which is why I kicked that habit because I was starting to have heart palpitations from it. Like oh, it, it, once once I started, uh drinking like a battery like a monster energy drink battery like the the supposedly three to four dollar one mm -hmm. and and i wasn't doing anything other than just sitting on my ass watching a show that that's when i started feeling like addicted because this is the stuff that's supposed to help you like perk you up a little bit uh, like make you do stuff and i i just started just uh I need to be perked. yeah 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 because well i have an addictive personality I guess that's why I hate social media a whole lot. Getting back to topic uh, at hand because <clears throat> if we're getting back to topic, I still got the spicy rally tweet. I I I know, damn you! I am getting to it. I I I'm I'm segueing back to you know I what, Riley? It. You know I what, Riley? It. Go ahead and tell oh, your no. story. Go ahead and tell your story. <laughs> okay. You okay, tell I'm your sorry, story. Bro. I'm sorry. Whoops! Whoops! Tell your story. <laughs> The beatings will continue until morale oh improves. Please uh, help us. The beatings oh, will continue until morale improves. Anyway, go ahead. Okay. <laughs> so, the final tweet I get from Riley after we interact and he follows me. He, re he says, followed you back. I didn't realize how much you need it. Now, my tweets get more engagements than the e-celebs you're used to following, so don't be worried by it. It's fine. <laughs> oh. <laughs> he really fucking said that to you? Yes, and he's over here fucking roasting a stereo. I'm pretty sure he got a slight dig at Monkey in there. The talking about e-celebs yeah. that I follow. I don't have any friends because I watched the Monkey and Big Show or some shit. I have no idea. God, we're talking yeah, about fucking like monkey again. 
Are, are we say are we are we talking about monkey again? Jesus Christ! <laughs> I'm just anyway. saying that's what Riley said on that one episode. He said that that's why I don't have any friends because I watch the monkey and big show. Well, yeah, I mean he's got a, he's got a point. What, what's <laughs> wow. the monkey and and what? <laughs> The Monkey and Big Show. It's his new daily Let's Play channel with his friend Biggs. Oh, I thought that he was pretty much like huddled into a corner with a knife on his wrist every day of the week. He's actually nah, fam, he's, he's got actually a daily doing Let's stuff. Play channel. He's going. Oh, I, I oh okay. I, I didn't know that he was doing stuff other than contemplating suicide. He always he always makes it sound like he's about to kill himself uh, every single time you talk to him. Like, I watched that one video about him talking about these other two people, and within, like, a minute or two, he's talking like, Oh my god! I wanted to kill myself! I, Monkey Jones! <laughs> up the up the road and across the streets! That's how you do it! I'm Monkey! Anyway. It's still more of a Gilbert Godfrey than a Monkey Jones, but you're getting well, there. Well, I, I, I know, I know, that. but that's that's sort of my, my little... that 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 pleases me. A little bit. I, I kind of know that you I'm doing more the level Godfrey. I reached on the Dickheads podcast where I impersonated Monkey for the whole thing, and nobody will ever hear it because Grant Leahy disappeared off the face of the earth. Grant Leahy is uh, constantly posting on Instagram. I found because I, I think holy I'm, shit, he has I an think, Instagram. What the fuck? Yeah, I, I think I'm friends with him. I think I'm friends with him on. Uh, oh, I'm so sorry. This? I don't know who the guy is. Like, there's so many people in the uh, in the Dick and Asterios and Monkey Jones sort of like fan circles, without branching out to not say for human consumption and that Larry show. It's it's kind of like this. It's like a huge universe, and I haven't uh, I, I I haven't re uh, remembered or memorized every single aspect of uh, the the first two. Yeah, and, and Monkey's universe keeps like horning in on everything, and it's sort of like, oh shit, I have to remember this shit right here, and that's another reason why I hate fucking social media, is because the universe becomes so much smaller, and with the smallest comes much uh, the, the the comes the knowledge at a higher frequency and, and much faster than I'm normally used to, because I don't get to fucking absorb and compartmentalize. Uh, my, my thoughts and opinions as, as slowly as I would like to. It just keeps. It, I mean, uh, you you keep up or you die, and I've had to keep up or I'll die, pra uh, figuratively, uh, not not literally. If you die because of social media, I I don't know what to say about that. <laughs> I, I you know like I I have like no opinions. Like hey, you know what, I'm on a break. <laughs> you know, but but, but anyway. Well, it's uh, often our youth, right? Because it's uh, it's it's not good for for the young ones. Oh, not at all. I think social media probably does fuck up uh, uh, the the youth of this nation's freaking brains big time. Like it used to be a conspiracy theory with uh, 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 TV and movies and stuff, which I don't know if I really am willing to recognize any kind of that as any kind of sort of valid. Uh, but you know. Unlike, say, the Matrix or 90s action movies, social media is with you literally 24-7, and you can get it within seconds. And with, like, the reason why I didn't like the, uh, the action and violent movie analogies and TV movie, uh, 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 TV analogy so much is because it does take time, and there's, like, a million and one things to distract you. Like, if you are a kid, you're going to go watch Rambo, but maybe you bump into your dad and he has a chore for you to do. Or maybe you freaking stub your toe on the stairs up the, to your uh, room or, or something, anything. I mean, there's maybe millions you're about of variables. Maybe you to record a podcast and then your mom pulls up with a car full well, of Well, yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly, exactly. <laughs> that too. That too. So th there's like a million and one sort of like little distractions that could distract that freaking child from watching this so-called <laughs> harmful content. But when it comes to social media, with the expediency that I can literally engage in any social media right now, like here, one, two, and boom. I like literally two seconds because I had my uh, my Twitter account already open on my phone. It's almost less than two seconds. I was able to access some social media. 
No, no, I have to. Ha I, I have to. Oh yeah, because I care about the TOS site. <laughs> ooh, ooh, look at me! I follow the rules. Well, i uh, my name's Mo Diggity, and I put dicks in my mouth. <laughs> uh, I, I heart, I heart TOS. I'm Mo Diggity, Fuck no. I'm a happy good boy. <laughs> I'm a happy good boy 420 <laughs> at happy good boy 420 on Twitter because I got banned because I fucked up. Remember to use that report function. It really helps us out. Yeah, re re really just disregard <laughs> that last comment right there. You don't really have to have to report anybody per se. But anyway, anyway, uh, you know, Riley, you and I have been yammering on most of the episode. I think it's time to get with Robin and uh, Robin, you got any stories for us? Yeah, what's the topic again? Oh, well, it, it, it's, <laughs> no, I'm, a, I'm kidding. it's I'm about kidding. It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia and what our favorite episode is. <laughs> oh, dude. I love It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia. You know, what we could, you know what's great? The fact that all of the cast members have social media accounts. Like, Danny Whoa. DeVito is on Twitter. That's and, true. He's got a really good Twitter. Yeah, he really does have like one of my, my favorite Twitters out there. He just uh, posts him. about Bernie all day. Oh man, I, I I love hearing him, and uh, oh fuck, it it used to be a cross between uh, uh, William Shatner, uh, uh, uh Will, William Shatner, uh, uh, Elon Musk, and and sometimes uh, somebody from like one of the shows I really like, Bill Oakley, I I've. Uh, been just talking to a, a lot on Twitter lately, and he was the writer for The Simpsons and uh, Mission Hill, and he was one of the Golden Age writers, him and uh, Jeff Oakley, and uh, they they went out and made uh, Mission Hill uh, from their uh, using their experience from The Simpsons, and uh, he's he's really nice, and I love his takes on things, but uh, yeah, like I was saying, uh, like like I was saying earlier before I got distracted. Uh, it, it really is it, the, the the long term ramifications of constant and uh, uh, constants and da on a daily basis uh, usage of social media. Uh, we're we're already seeing the negatives uh, from that. We have mobs of people that just want to cancel people and uh, le uh, and, and get them fired from their jobs. Uh, there's people who think that th there's such a thing as like ethical doxing which which i think is like it's it's one thing to find say the dude who said he was going to go shoot up the synagogue local synagogues how a uh, local synagogues uh, 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 address right it's right. another thing i think for the mob to find someone who says i don't know about insert cause or 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 opinion here and I just simply disagree. And of course, you can autofill that what I just said with anything that you really anybody want to. targeting anybody job, that's fucking stupid. Like yeah. I think I, this was a couple months ago I saw this on Twitter. It was just a tweet. It was somebody filming this like old man who may or may not have said some opinions that most people don't agree with. And the tweet was who is this man and where does he work? And it made me very pissed off. Yeah, like, dude, that, that's, uh, that, that's uh, the, the height of just first world arrogance. Uh, think that somebody in Louisiana can get someone in New York City fired over a tweet. Now, if it were to say, you know, gas blanks, 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 uh, that would be one thing. Maybe because some hills are harder to die on than others. Uh, uh, another thing is to say, you know, I, hey, I disagree with uh, uh, Hillary being the nominee when Bernie Sanders should be back in 2016. And uh, people on Twitter and on 4chan uh, threatened to uh, find my IP address and expose my address and they were going to come shoot me and shit. But we, you know, oh, I, and that's because I fucking supported Bernie for the Democratic nod over fucking Hillary. Uh, you know, between Hillary, uh, between Bernie and and Trump, because I knew Trump was going to be the front runner at the time. I, I was still, I, I still had problems 
trying to like uh, uh, justify my voting for one party I hate versus another party I really really hate. And uh-huh. so, who are, you, yeah. who are you voting for in 2020, Mo? Out of the current oh, candidate. Oh, dude, I, I, I honestly, unless I see a, a miracle third party candidate show up, I, I'm not, I, I will not. I, I mean, you know, I might go to the voting booth and vote for all the ballot initiatives and all the other stuff, but I, I don't think that I'll be voting for uh, anyone for president this go around. It's simply for a real choice. It's it's simply because there's a lack of a real choice on the ballot. It's extremely Yang, old Yang. man. Uh, and you know, as much as I like Yang, I don't think that he has a shot in hell of ever getting the nod. Uh, the DNC Fuck is no. already... The DNC has already... Thanks to social media, by the way, they've been able to suppress uh, Andrew Yang's presence there. But also, thanks to social media, I think Andrew Yang is also successfully counterbalanced uh, uh, from that. Because social media, even though I, I, I hate it to death, there are some great uses for it. Like, for example, Andrew Yang and Gary Johnson and Bernie Sanders have been able to use social media for positive gains and for momentum and i've been really appreciative of the the messages that those three men specifically have been hawking i i think it really has sort of uh th- those three i honestly think have helped stem the tide of uh, absolute hatred and just evil and just uh almost demonic uh sort of uh attitudes you know and i don't mean demonic as in religious i mean demonic as in like ultimate evil you, you know what i mean i know that's very hyperbolic yeah, yeah, yeah. and i know i'm kind of sound like i'm full of shit when, when i say that but it, it really does i'm really happy at least that happens every once in a while but this uh but the, but this uh, uh the, the 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 culture that we have right now on social media it's just absolutely just despicable. You know and, what's better for your presidential campaign than, uh, you know, a positive social media outlook? Uh, if, uh, Twitch if, streaming uh, Minecraft? I think that's what Bernie Sanders was doing. <laughs> no, if you, um, <laughs> what, what, all you what have to do it? is withhold foreign aid from another country in exchange for dirt on one of the front runners' uh, uh, relatives in order to smear their campaign. Oh, uh, would this perhaps be something to do with a person who is currently <laughs> This is just a, a hypothetical. Office? Well, a this hypothetical. is a hypothetical. I, I, <laughs> and here's the you thing. Know, I'm not saying anyone did this, although if they did, I'm sure they would have gotten impeached. But uh... <laughs> well, well, the crazy thing is, like, what if during those same impeachment proceedings, which, uh, uh, like, to be honest, if... Uh, Say in this hypothetical, the president uh, were impeached, then so be it. I'm not a fan of his. I'm not going to hold water for the old man. But if say or woman. someone, it's a hypothetical. Well, it, oh, or woman, or anyone for that matter. Um, uh, if there was say another rival that say uh, threatened to withhold aid to another country. And over, uh, uh, over the, uh, over the, uh, the, the, the threats of say, them firing somebody because they leaked some shit out that made the government look really bad, you know, maybe that person could also get into serious trouble, because uh. I, I don't think that maybe one uh, and, and not the other is the way to go here personally. Uh, if one goes down, I think both should go down, in my opinion, because I think maybe we have enough case. Uh, we ha- we have enough uh, 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 for the case of impeachment of Donald Trump. And even though it's even though, in my opinion, it's a, it's a hard, hard sell. And even though, once again, in my opinion, I also kind of feel like uh like a lot of this is theater and they're kind of playing that off deliberately as theater and that bothers me because in my opinion that does kind of feel disingenuous and sort of undermines the severity of the implication of impeachment alone well he has been impeached by the way he has been impeached he's he's been impeached by the house but not quite the senate now what I'm seeing so far is that they're talking about maybe trying to force some of the senators to recuse themselves, but 
in a Senate ran, uh, 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 in a Republican ran Senate, I don't see that happening at all. In fact, well, nobody, they, no president has my ever opinion, been removed from office from impeachment. Oh, hold on, Riley. Oh, ever. yeah, true, 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 true. The only ones who, uh, uh, to have ever left because of impeachment's influence has been Nixon, if I recall correctly. Nixon resigned. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Nixon resigned because it was just a bad look. Uh, Clinton, it, it only got to one point or the other, and he just basically just told everyone to fuck themselves that he wasn't leaving, and he he finished his his presidency. And honestly, I I kind of see. I kind of see this. Uh, I, I kind of see this happening like it's it's not gonna <laughs> it, 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 like it's what, what the fuck man <laughs> hey <laughs> hey <laughs> sweetie stop screaming please thank you honey thank you oh, god damn <clears throat> bro choice bro choice bro choice anyway uh <clears throat> Um, so what, what the fuck was I even saying? Oh, well, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, pretty much this is, I, I, I think this is going to fall straight on its face. And, uh, uh, unfortunately, I, this is going to look, this is going to be so bad that it, it's going to be like Scrooge McDuff, uh, Scrooge McDuck surfing on a sea of his own money, except it's going to be Donald Trump in full suit, full outfit, surfing right back into the freaking White House. I, I think this is going to be a no contest for him. And I think it's because of social media and its damaging effects and over and oversaturating uh, uh, the web space with uh, so much uh, with so much stuff about impeachment. In fact, it's my opinion and some even some media outlets opinions like uh, like CNBC, even CNN for crying out loud. Some of them are starting to report that ever since the middle of the first week of the impeachment hearings and the impeachment process, it seems that everyone sort of started tuning, tuning out two days into it because it quote unquote isn't exciting and it's fucking boring, dude. And that's essentially what people thought of the, the process and that and the people who, who, who did watch it are either the... The leftists who are hate watching it just so they can bitch on Twitter or social media, and the rest of them seems to be the majority of Trump's base, and they're they're watching intensely and, and quietly. Like I've noticed that there has been the usual rabble rousers, you know, the usual Trump supporters going rabble 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 uh, uh, for Trump during the impeachment process, but. It's the majority, and I don't, I don't mean to sound mean when I'm saying this. I'm just saying as a matter of my personal, uh, uh, my, my, my witnessing of everything. It seems that it's primarily the left that's talking mainly, mainly about impeachment, and, and rightfully so, because they've been protesting Trump since literally minute one of his announcement. Hashtag of, not my president. Of, 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 of him winning the presidency Hashtag back in 2016. Man bad, Cheeto man bad. <laughs> Shut up, Riley. <laughs> but yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, of course, this is this is their big get. This is their big win. Uh, they got. I think they've got impeachment process. Impeached president step one out of the way. And two, well, no, he is, is impeached. It's just removal is never going to well, happen no, but, because you need two thirds of the Senate. But he's like he is officially impeached now. Yeah. Oh, is, is it? What like, does impeached entail if it's not removal? It's basically like you got a bad grade on your on your uh, like school report card. Can he still run again if he's in? The yeah, yeah because yeah. it, uh, yeah, because the Republicans are yeah, never going to remove his ass. No fucking way. He's as much as the swamp fucking hates Trump. As much as the freaking deep state hates the fucking guy, uh, uh, they they really are on his side because he's going to be the one. He's going to be the catalyst for all these real heavy-handed government regulations that are going to come down on Silicon Valley. And I believe in the, the next four years of Trump admin, I 100% believe that's going to fucking happen. Because you believe Trump... in Cyborg Emperor Trump? Oh, He's dude, coming. yeah, dude, dude, dude. Yeah, God Emperor Trump is going to come from <laughs> on down high in resplendent <laughs> golden armor with a giant battle hammer. And... 
the, the Lord our God, Jesus Christ, is going to be personally directing a sunbeam to him so it just hits him <laughs> so it hits him just right as he lands on the White House lawn and does that pose like the rock in WWF does whenever he's about to start spitting fire. He goes the, you know, like the the Trump is back in Washington DC and you hear his Trump base fucking erupting like it's a goddamn ECW match. It's it's gonna be pretty much like that. The fucking I, I, Rocky music starts playing. A little Rocky music. Oh God, Rocky! I I also kind of thought the John Cena theme for a minute, because like him showing up in that golden armor, like uh, that's not actually his theme. huh? That's not actually his theme. Oh, yeah, it's all. You can't always get what you want by the Rolling Stones, because that was the last. Always get. Dude, what, uh, I know that he handpicked that song himself because I know I know that he knew he was going to win and that, you know, he just played it for fucking Hillary and all the people at the Hillary uh, camp because that, that's, that was a sort of an underhanded slap in the face to them. At least that's how I perceive it. And I laugh my ass off at that. Like, dude. Ain't no reason to get upset or to cry. Like, let's not cry. God, like, watching people cry at political events makes me go, oh, fucking Christ almighty. And it kind of makes me laugh a little bit. Oh, but, it was like when Romney lost to Obama. <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, or when Obama won the first fucking time. You can literally watch the, uh, you can you can literally see all of Fox News' uh, uh, news anchors that night. You can all, almost see their heads fucking explode out of their, oh, off their no. fucking bodies, man. Because they, they just, it, it was sort of like, you remember that, that really lame ass clip? that that fucking Rachel Maddow did where she's like huh, you're in it you know this this is not a nightmare this is reality uh, the the right wings were the the right wingers on Fox were the first to do that by having like Glenn Beck's fucking stupid little uh, 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 Broadway acting ass uh, not that I have any idea if he works he ever worked on Broadway or not but it certainly feels the acting certainly feels like it, he did but yeah, it's it's just really funny uh, that that whole thing. Anyway, uh, we've been going for about a good hour now, and Robin, we have hey. not even gotten to you or anything. So go ahead and take us home. Uh, give us a couple of good stories or one good story, whatever you got on social, social media. media. A social media or your opinion on uh, if you if you want to give an opinion on uh, the impeachment process, whatever you want. <laughs> Were we supposed to talk about how it's... shitty TikTok was in this episode? I think I, I kind of said that as a joke. Like, I didn't really it, say it, that you, you really... It, yeah, TikTok... It's also, like, TikTok not sucks. actually that shitty compared to social media. Like, actual real social media. I, I just... Honestly... I yeah, yeah. Honestly, it's I don't creative. think it's... I don't, I don't think that it's anyone's fault, quote-unquote. You know, it's just that... It, it, I'm really tired of these, uh, like the, the one that's making the rounds that has like a 1.5 million views right now. It, it's I, I think it's the two little white girls who are obviously anorexic, and they're sharing oh. a fucking slice of bread. And all it is is like they're, they're both cute and adorable, and that 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 kind of that kind of like makes me not rage against it publicly because they're like, oh, you two are. Like it's bread time. It's bread time. It's like it's it's stupid little girl humor, or maybe not little girl. It's it's stupid TikTok humor. There we go. That's more accurate. And it's I, I just same thing, little girl humor, TikTok humor. Well, I don't know. I, I don't want anyone to ever think that you know, like what what the, see the fucking n never mind. I'm getting off topic here, and I'm overthinking shit. And I also kind of have to go to the bathroom soon, so we're gonna have to wrap up. Yeah, but I think, uh, uh, social media is like it's got a lot of positives and got a lot of negatives so i don't really know what the the overall impact is going to be on everyone and everything because you know we've got the basically constant access to like a dopamine hit you're just like oh yeah let me pull out my phone and just oh the dopamine oh oh tap oh scroll 
Big oh, time. Oh, it feels so good. Oh, the interactions. Oh my god, look at these notifications. But at the same time, it's like, you know, you're getting... Everyone kind of feels equal on social media. You know, I, I don't think big... so at all, man. I, I think we found a new well, way to set... Well, unless you're like a big brain 300 IQ, you know. Well, well no, no. I, 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 what, I guess what I mean by that is it almost feels like to me that we found a new way to legally segregate ourselves and segregate each other. Because uh, if you really look at it, like, Gab sort of for all the right-wingers and fucking crazy alt-right fanboys, and, and Twitter me mainly me uh, seems to be a bunch of shit talkers and a bunch of uh, uh, leftists, arguably leftists, uh, uh, mainly on there. And we, we seem to have made these websites where we're, we're just basically all just separating from each other and then with separation comes anxiety, and anxiety comes plotting and conspiracy, I, I think. And I think because of this segregation online, this social segregation, where it's it's more easy... People to... being segregated, it is people yeah. segregating themselves. Well, that, that too, that too, because a lot of it is self-imposed exile. Like, there are plenty, of, there's a lot of people that just said, fuck Twitter, and they went to Gab, or they went to Mines or something. But right. yeah, yeah, but blah blah. I'm stepping all over your 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 time, so go ahead. Oh, uh, shit! I didn't even know what I was gonna say. Oh yeah, a lot of you know we like ce celebrities. Oh shit! I'm done. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Riley, shut up. <laughs> I meant, uh, I meant ce like celebrities, like people who are like famous, like who you know, before the the days of like everyone on social media, like wouldn't be people that you possibly could interact with or people that you know seemed like they were on like a different kind of a level and it is it is sort of like social media is an equalizer in that sense like people don't really feel as you know above each other yeah necessarily hmm. all right well i pretty much i think said all i i can possibly say on the subject riley do you have any closing thoughts um, social media is fun sometimes, but most of the time, it's bad. So what you're going to do right here with the straight face is take everything that Robin just said and just simpli <laughs> simplify it down to maybe a sentence and a half? Yeah. And I'm Mo Diggity. And, and, I, and I'm Mo Diggity. You can find me at, ha at, at happygoodboy420 on twitter.com. And you can find me at mojiggity42 at Instagram. Basically, all the bullshit will be down in the fucking uh, description. I don't know. I don't care. Social media can burn to the fucking ground, or it, it can't. Either way, don't I, forget about I, I the best website, much... FadeGrips.store, where you can insert your code <laughs> mojiggity. I see Paul's influence has spread far and wide. Yeah, see, for <laughs> Patreon. those of you who don't know... Patreon.com slash Ben Saints. I'm going to give you five seconds to take that back and put Mosai Productions at the end of that. <laughs> Patreon.com slash Mosai Productions. All right, and with that, <laughs> I'll say thank you for coming out. I really appreciate it, and until next time, ta-ta. And Merry Christmas. Bye. Feliz Navidad. Feliz Navidad. Oh, no, don't bring up this drama. <laughs> Feliz Navidad. <laughs> Mundane uh -oh. Matt is... Uh...